Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. To TGIF, folks, let's make it a great one. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be a, like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 425, NASDAQ up 252, SP's up 66, gold, gold contract up $6.70, trading at 1726 an ounce. We have silver up 32 cents, $18.76 an ounce, and a light sweet crude up 295, $86.49 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Down seven ticks, trading 115.23. The 30 year off 11 at 133.15 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 722 ticks, trading at 108. 986. The euro is one to one. The yen is 142 to one, and the British pound is 115 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S and P's? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's check this out because this is pretty cool. What's happening? As I said on that uh, news update, so what you have here, right? You know, what did, what you did, number one, what we did have yesterday is this. You had an expansion of volume yesterday off the bottom. Yesterday, you can see in the SPY, we did uh, 80 million shares, okay? But that being said, guess what? You're going against 99 million, okay? But it was, it's higher, it was higher than the day before, so not bad. Today, however, you have a big contraction of volume, but what you also have is this. So Confluence, folks, what Confluence is, which is really cool, okay, is that you're taking uh, the point 382 and 618 off two different trends. And you can see quite clearly we have two beautiful trends here to do it with. Well, watch this when you do it because this, this is like it really cool. So this first one, I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom. And that there, bottom line, you can see right where we're at right now is basically just over a point 382. Well, and the number, see the number there, 406, right? Okay, so. I could put this on top because I already know what these numbers are, but I'm not going to put it on top of it. Just remember that the, uh, the 0.382 is 404, and we're at 406 right now, okay? So I get rid of that, and then you're going to go into here and take the last trend, and you put a 0.618. Well, you can see what's going on. This is, this is really tight confluence, man. And the top of confluence, okay, is 407.70. And we went to 407.16 today. So this is going to be kind of cool watching it. And what the Confluence does, two different things in the Confluence does. You know, in, in this particular case, you can see you're going into that huge downdraft anyway. Okay, the bottom of that downdraft is 405. The top is 419. What happens with Confluence, those are numbers that normally you just can't see. You know, that's, that's what it comes down to. So we're going to see how this baby shakes out uh, coming into next week. Because what we are going to have here, uh, well... It, what it looks like we're going to have, let's put it this way, because we do have an hour to the close, 45 minutes now, is that you're going to have a huge contraction of volume. You know, I don't expect uh, the market to fall apart either. I expect what you're going to see, they're going to try to run this as much as they can. Um, you know, bottom line, that that's how it works on a Friday afternoon at uh, 310. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here. We take a look at it. Actually, let's go to DocuSign first, because DocuSign came out with numbers last night. And what you had out here, bottom line, they bid it up and ran it right down. You know, bottom line, you were up to 60, uh, 637. Yeah, you're only down three points from that. But that, that's a number. There's no, no two ways about that. You're coming into that 41 million to down 36 million. We'll see whether that can make it uh, up to the swing area. If we uh, let's go and take a look at uh, Freeport Mac Moran for a couple of the targets out here, FCX. And what FCX had yesterday definitely had a sign of strength, okay? You're up uh, $1.52 right now. Uh, this came off, yes, you can see yesterday, 21 million shares. That's a good setup. So that's saying that FCX does want to run up to this uh, 33.80. Next, next swing is 33.89. That's where I expect you're going to run up to. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. 
Um, the dollar is the wild card still. There's no two ways about that. I take a look at this dollar, and what we've had with the dollar is this. The dollar got down to 108.360, rejected that, and that would make sense because you can see how long that we went sideways there. Now, it's not over the higher range, though. The higher range is 109.294. The way this is set up, though, it's like, okay, man, you can go topside in about one second. Uh, if we go to the euro, you'll see the, this is the opposite correlation uh, on the currencies I'm going to bring up now. The euro, you can see the same thing. The euro made it up here uh, to 1.0111, and then we're at 1.0044. So that's also telling me, the euro in particular, that's telling me that this thing wants to go south once again. We go to the yen. We take a look at the yen, and uh, I want to say hi to all our... Uh, uh, viewers that are listening in Japan, we got a little email there. That's a, you know, the house of the rising sun. Um, I wouldn't, uh, right now, so the question was is that, you know, this is just finishing ABC up, and I suspect it is. Is that 126? That's, yeah, that's 13. 143. Yeah, look at that. So this, this tiger, you gotta, you gotta love the tigers and tigresses. So look at this, man. It just it just did finish the ABC up, right right to it too, man. Um, so the question was, okay, I would the bottom line, I wouldn't step in front of this. Uh, you know what normally happens? Yes, you you do different. Um, you go sideways, you can pull back. Uh, you know after you know doing an ABC up, uh, but until you know as they can say, see the white of their eyes, man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be basically, you know, going along on this because, you know, what you have here, and it's all about the dollar because if the dollar, you know, the dollar pulled back a bit, but the dollar is still over highs that can bring it to 121. You, you need like one or two numbers down, okay, and trading down hard to basically, you know, say that your probability is that, okay, we're done. We're not, we're not there, man. And in particular, which is blowing my mind, is that, you know, the, the next Fed meeting, okay, um, they're going to go up 75 points. They're telling everyone. They're, they're out all day long today, okay, telling folks, I'm in for 75. I'm in for 75. So that meeting is on the 21st. And guess what? We go up 75 more basis points in the, on the 21st. This baby, the dollar, is going topside again. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.